So you want to hit your driver long and straight and you want to hit your irons closer to the hole. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you the differences between drive and iron swing because they are different and you've got to factor that in to play really good golf. I'm going to kick things off with driver. The simple idea with driver to get maximum distance and to get it out there is you want that club to be moving up into the back of the golf ball. And the way we set up to the driver is totally different to an iron. And this setup is going to help you optimize your performance and help you hit it a long way. Number one, with driver, because we want distance, we want speed. And to gain speed, we need to have a stable base. So making sure when we set up to driver that our feet are wider than our shoulders. That way, we're going to make sure that we've got the stability to create a big shoulder turn. That's number one. Number two, ball position. As I mentioned, with driver, we want the club to be moving up into the back of the ball. Without getting too technical, an upwards angle of attack. So to, to do that, we've got to get that ball position inside left heel as you can see there my ball is inside my left heel see too many golfers getting it right in the middle of the stance and that's no good for driver get it up nearer that left heel next thing is how we position our upper body if you think about this the lower body is very symmetrical i've got that nice wide stance and i'm ready and i'm stable with the upper body we need a little bit of tilt to the right hand side so i want to feel like my right shoulder drops down and also slightly pulls backwards. That way, as you can see at setup, notice how my upper body has a little bit of tilt in it, and that's going to help me hit up into the back of the ball. That is absolutely essential. Again, too many golfers get the chest over the ball with driver, and that's not going to help you hit it a long way. Having that little bit of tilt in the upper body, making sure then during the backswing, that tilt remains the same you can see i'm still behind the golf ball and even at the point of contact notice how i've got, still got that upper body tilt my hips have turned but my upper body is still tilted so that i hit up on the ball maximize speed maximize distance quick recap wide stance wider than your shoulders ball position forward slight tilt in the upper body and pull that right shoulder backwards and also then feel like you stay slightly behind the golf ball as you hit to make sure you launch it up in the air. Oh, yes. I hit up on it. The ball flight was high. It would have reduced the spin. And the distance would have been pretty good. <laughs> That's how you hit driver. In contrast, iron swing, is totally different and you've got to factor this in. I'm going to show you the instruction for a seven iron, but it pretty much stays the same for all of your irons. Now with a seven iron or a mid iron, you now don't want to be hitting up on the golf ball. The ball's not on a tee, predominantly on the ground, and you want the club this time to be hitting slightly down into the ball. So again, without getting too technical, the angle of attack is coming down. That's why your setup has to be totally different. With irons, we do want a wide stance, but not as wide as driver. So this time, trying to get the feet about the same width as the shoulders as opposed to wider. And notice how in my setup here, my chest is much more over the golf ball and that ball position is just in front of center. So notice now my chest is more over it. If anything, and this is a really top tip, feel like your weight is around 55% in your front leg because that's going to help you hit down and make sure you hit the ball first and the ground after. Now, during the golf swing this time, the chest, as you can see, is staying more over the ball. I'm not trying to move to the right like I would do with driver. I'm staying much more over the golf ball. And as I come in to hit the shot, again, my chest is actually the left side of the golf ball. The big difference with irons, you want to hit down. You want to hit the ball first and then the ground after. See the best players in the world do that. And with this setup, you can do that too. So recap, shoulder width apart, feet position, ball position just in front of center. My chest is more over the golf ball and it stays there as I hit the shot. And as I come into hit, my weight stays more towards the left. 
that way you can hit the ball first, the ground after, and you can see, come in here, let me show you this. That's where the ball would have been. And I've hit the ball first and the ground after. So the club would have been going down into the ground, possibly because the ground's so wet here at the moment, maybe too much. The differences between driver and iron swing is crucial. If you want to play better golf, you've got to make those adaptions. Enjoy the video, guys. Make sure you hit like, subscribe, and that's how you hit irons and driver so you can play better golf.